Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here <clears throat> for another unboxing. So, we are going to be having a look at Candy Coated Chop Scotch. We're going to be unboxing it and having a bit of a comparison between this one and the normal one. And uh, boy, does this one look absolutely awesome. I went through this when I showed her off in the, uh, the sort of update video. But the overall colour scheme, I think, is fantastic. And seeing as Halloween is literally tomorrow when I'm recording this, it's ideal. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. So let's pop her out and see what she's actually like. Um, she's a pretty cool character already. Um, I've used her quite a lot in gameplay. Um, started to, I think, level her up, but she's got a lot of money. So, uh, fingers crossed, she's going to be an extremely good asset. Because she really is... Uh, Pretty awesome with a weapon. Very, very uh, awesome smashing down. If you're if you're one for a close up, good smashing character, then this is this is definitely one for you. Um, but pulling it out, let's we'll see. Let's just release everything there, and then hopefully, we we'll just go pull her off. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not. It's coming. There we go. Happy days. So we can put the box. Off to the side, and here she is. She is looking awesome. I'm loving that green hair. Very, very cool. Looks so, so cool. I love this sort of aging effect and the colouring they've put on it. But the mask, the mask, I think, is the best part, or, um, or the helmet at least, is just so awesome. It really is. The detailing, those holes, all the colours, it looks amazing. It really, really does. That gold belt's awesome as well. Obviously the base there for the Smasher Undead. The axe here, very pointy, so just be careful. There are points on here that are quite pointy, so just be careful with that. But an amazing weapon. And I love how you can you can see it clearly there. This is a sort of brush stroke. It's almost like a brush stroke effect, but I'm, I don't, it might be like to sort of show off the metal uh, design. But it looks amazing how it's sort of uh, all going like that. That's really cool. Very cool how the skull has actually got the hair coming down. Love that. And I might actually, I've only actually just noticed that. Um, with, that's a really cool uh, effect there to have. But very cool. I don't know if you can see that. There's a few little splodges there. I don't know them. Whether that is just excess. Oh, it is. It's not paint. It's just a few little marks which are gone now. So there we go. <laughs> um, but oh wow, she is awesome. She's really really cool. Um, especially if you maybe had like two people playing and you had like you know your normal one and then candy coated, you sorted. Um, <clears throat> I'm guessing a head would be if it's candy coated, then maybe an orange flavour, possibly a toffee flavour, because a bit of a toffee apple. Ooh, toffee apple. Mmm, I'm I'll just eat her. <laughs> but yes, there she is. Now let's just get the turntable ready to go and uh, we'll pop her on there so you can see what she looks like there she is looking extremely awesome very very cool there but of course what is a comparison without her overall other extra character there looking extremely cool and they almost look different I mean I know they're, they're the exact same character but they've got that difference you know the face the hair is different you know in the colour um, it's almost as if you could just say they're twins um, but I like how you can see the differences, like for example the gauntlet here is gold, and as you can see the gauntlet has no gold on there, it's just full on black. The belt is still the same, the actual suit, the sensei suit is the same, the bone is the same colour, all that gold is gone. Um, the, the, the weapon seems to be the exact same colour, it could be a different shade, um, not 100% sure there, it looks to be the exact same. So I don't think they've changed it up as much. Of course, the light is flashing quite a lot on it, so they look exactly the same. But there's an up-close look at both of them. There's not much difference about the eyes. You know, they're the exact same positioning. But uh, I just, I really love the detailing on her face. That is just amazing. It really, really is just something awesome. But, um, yeah, I mean, that is basically it. We can't do much more and, until we actually get round to playing with her. We've experienced the normal version, but now it's time to get a bit more Halloween-y and uh, get her on the portal and see what she is like. But yes, there we go. Quick unboxing for that character. Nice comparisons. Loving the look of this one. And hopefully a very good team if you have two people 
in a group. That'd be really, really cool. But there we go, guys. So if you have enjoyed this, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Comment down below as well which one out of these two would you pick up. Uh, maybe because one is cheaper or maybe because you like one of the designs. Maybe you get both. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. And of course, rate the video as well so I know you're enjoying the series. And I'll see you guys next time for more videos. So thank you and goodbye.